the H1B guy here. And today, the H1B guy news for the week ending July 23rd, 2023. Today, I'll cover legal U.S. immigration is impossible and recapping Prime Minister Modi's visit. But before we get started, I'd like to ask you, if you haven't already, to please subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube and like this video so that I can continue to produce more content like this for you. I also wanted to mention the H1B Guy offers a variety of consulting services. I help businesses and individuals solve complex work authorization issues in the recruitment process while bringing awareness to employment-based immigration benefits. If I can help you, please reach out. Love to hear how. And you can book an appointment directly with me via the h1bguy.com. Today's news is brought to you by Syndesis and Path to Canada. The ideal plan B for high-skilled immigrants currently located in the U.S. whose status may be uncertain. By perm-ads.com, the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification process. And by Mob Squad. Are you a technology professional facing U.S. work visa-related challenges? Don't leave your fate up to chance. Our partner, Mob Squad, has a solution. Join the squad. Now, the news. On June 13th, 2023, my friend David Beer from the Cato Institute published a policy analysis number 950 titled, Why Legal Immigration is Nearly Impossible. Here are my key takeaways from the extensive research and documentation that David put into this policy analysis. Quote, the current U.S. immigration system is restrictive from the perspectives of both immigrants and Americans. In recent years, the United States granted green cards to about 1 million immigrants annually. This amounts to 0.3% of the U.S. population. Employer sponsorship. An almost insurmountable barrier of bureaucratic red tape restricts employer sponsorship, and these restrictions exclude nearly all workers without college degrees, while low caps will result in many applicants dying before they can receive their green cards. Employers make only 1 in 1,500 hires through this system. Employment-based immigration. Everyone who is not a refugee a diversity lottery winner, or a family-sponsored immigrant must obtain a green card under a very restrictive employment-based system. Employment-based immigration is largely impossible for most aspiring immigrants because the categories are so limited. The process is so expensive that few immigrants can qualify, and the caps are far lower than the demand. Very few immigrants can qualify for employer-sponsored immigration because the law either limits the number of applicants to extremely narrow classifications or imposes so many costs that few employers will even participate in the legal process. The processing time also is extremely lengthy. Total processing time for perm labor certification is a staggering 536 days from initiation. The labor certification does not depend on a temporary visa, but temporary work visas enable the employer to follow the lengthy process while the worker is already employed by them. Because sponsoring an H-1B worker is highly regulated and H-1B workers cannot easily find new sponsors, the employer increases the odds that the worker will stay with them during the permanent residence process. Thus, temporary work visas decrease risk while increasing expected work days worked and so increase the benefit of sponsoring the worker. The H-1B visa is the main visa category used by employers that sponsor their foreign workers for a green card using the labor certification process. For a qualifying immigrant, the most difficult part of the H-1B process is finding an employer willing to undergo the costly sponsorship process. Because the fees and attorney costs can exceed $10,000 and employees are prohibited from covering these costs, only select employers are willing to initiate the H-1B process for certain very high-performing employees. Even if an employee can win the lottery, obtain an H-1B visa, and later receive an approved labor certification, they will still be subject to the annual green card limits. 
So first off, I wanted to thank David and his team at Cato for allowing me to play an extremely small role in the editorial of his research. I'm very grateful to have had this opportunity. This analysis includes 441 citations and is the most current and comprehensive publication that lays out the harsh facts on why immigrating to the U.S. legally is nearly impossible. While I'm not a proponent of full open borders, that should be clearly evident if you follow my content for any period of time. I'm a huge advocate for increasing high-skilled employment-based immigration. While there appears to be some common sense reform on the horizon, the brutal and agonizing process for both employers and individuals entering into the perm labor certification process and subsequent green card backlog continues to be one of the most concerning aspects of legal employment-based sponsorship. As I previously covered during the H-1B Guy news for the week ending May 12th, 2023, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi has previously visited the U.S. a total of seven times since 2014. On June 22nd, 2023, in a statement from the White House titled Fact Sheet Republic of India Official State Visit to the United States, provides a detailed overview of the agreements made between the U.S. and India during PM Modi's visit. Here are the agreements that stood out most to me. Quote, New Frontiers in Space. India has signed the Artemis Accords, which advance a common vision of space exploration for the benefit of all humankind. India joins 26 other countries committed to peaceful, sustainable, and transparent cooperation that will enable exploration of the moon, Mars, and beyond. Defense Innovation Bridge, the India-U.S. defense acceleration ecosystem known as IndusX, a network of university, incubator, corporate, think tank, and private investment stakeholders, was inaugurated on June 21, 2023. This innovative program will facilitate joint innovation on defense technologies and accelerate the integration of India's budding private sector defense industry with the U.S. defense sector. Domestic Visa Renewals The U.S. Department of State will launch a pilot this year to adjudicate domestic renewals of certain position-based temporary work visas, including for Indian nationals who will no longer be required to leave the country for renewal in eligible categories. The Department of State will implement this for an expanded pool of H-1B and L-Visa holders in 2024 with the aim of broadening the program to include other eligible categories. New Consulates The United States to, intends to open new consulates and India looks forward to opening its consulates in Seattle later this year and to announcing two new consulates in the United States. Student Exchanges and Scholarships the United States last year issued 125,000 visas to Indian students, a record. Indian students are on pace to become the largest foreign student community in the United States, with a 20% increase last year alone. India and the United States have launched a new joint task force of the Association of America Universities and leading Indian educational institutions, including the Indian Institutes of Technology. Investment Platforms for Green Energy India and the United States are committed to creating innovative investment platforms that will lower the cost of capital and attract international private finance at scale for renewable energy, battery storage, and emerging green technology projects in India. This is the first of its kind platform. We'll create a multi-billion dollar fund aimed at providing catalytic capital and de-risking support for such projects. So the space piece, the defense component, and energy aspect are all very interesting to me personally as it relates to world politics as a whole and ideal alignments while also paving the way for future generations. While PM Modi's visit has come under scrutiny due to several ongoing issues, the importance of this visit cannot be understated. His visit included a stop to Congress, as well as the state dinner, which all appeared to go off very smoothly. 
The biggest takeaway as it relates to this platform is the fact that domestic visa renewals are going to happen sooner rather than later. This is a significant change to a more common sense process and allows for individuals to reduce the stress and anxiety that has placed the visa renewal and extension process for far too long. For the full post on the H1B Guy News for the week ending June 23rd, 2023, please check out the H1BGuy.com. And a reminder that today's news is brought to you by Syndesis and Path to Canada, the ideal plan B for high school immigrants currently located in the U.S. whose status may be uncertain. If you're facing an H1B denial or OPT expiration, don't get caught off guard. Make sure you have a plan B and Syndesis and Path to Canada are your answers. We'll gladly help you navigate the process. And if you'd like to find out if you qualify, please be sure to use the link in the video description below and someone from Sedesis or Path to Canada will be in touch. By perm-ads.com, the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification process. If you're looking to reduce your costs and overhead associated with perm labor certification recruitment advertising, let perm-ads.com help you. And by Mob Squad. Are you a technology professional facing U.S. work visa-related challenges? Don't leave your fate up to chance. Our partner Mob Squad has a solution. Mob Squad helps technology professionals facing U.S. work visa-related uncertainty remain working with their current U.S. employer near shore from Canada, as well as technology professionals from around the world who are seeking to find a rewarding opportunity in North America. Through their partnership with the Canadian government, they can obtain a Canadian work permit for you and your spouse in as little as six weeks. So whether you're looking to stay working with your current U.S. employer or you want to find a new opportunity in Canada, please find out how the team at Mob Squad can help you via the link in the video description below. Join the squad. Just wanted to ask you again to please like this video, subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube, and click the bell for notifications so that you're notified anytime we post new content here to this channel. If you've made it this far, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate your support. The H1B Guy, your global source for all things H1B.